In this video, we're going to build documentation for your Java classes by using the Javadoc tool, which parses source code along with the Javadoc style comments to generate documentation. And this documentation is called an application programming interface or an API. And Javadoc style comments start with the slash asterisk asterisk and end with the asterisk forward slash. And typically, you place these comments above every class header and every method header throughout your program. And you'll place them above all the public ones, although there are options using the Javadoc command line to get comments from the private methods as well. And Javadoc comments may contain block tags. Let's take a look at those. So here are some commonly used block tags that you'll see in a Javadoc comment, such as the at author, which, use, which is used to specify an author's name, at version, so if it's version 0 of your program, or 0 0.1, or 1.0, or 1.1, you'll specify that with the at version block tag. There's at param to describe parameters, at return to describe what the return value is, whether it's an object or a variable, and at c if you want to provide a link to, for further information, such as a website or some other class members. So let's take a look at an example of Javadoc style comments and how to generate Javadocs for a class. Class person is a very basic class and I have a lot of getter and setter methods and constructors but I don't have any comments. So let's add a Javadoc style comment above the class header. And you start with the forward slash asterisk asterisk. Make sure it's two asterisks is in there. Press enter and you can see it automatically added the block tag at author and put my name in there. And I can type comment up here, the class person represents a generic person, or something like that. Then let's go to the first constructor method right here, do the same thing, forward slash asterisk asterisk, press enter, and it didn't give me any block tags, but I could say person default constructor. Let's go down to the next constructor slash asterisk asterisk press enter and I get two block tags because it has two parameters the first one is the person's name and age is the person's age and I can describe the method up here by saying person constructor with all fields as parameters and notice that after the word Param after this block tag is the name of the per that you gave the parameter. Then you just use a single space to separate the description. And this is the common standard. And let's just skip down. I'm not going to do all of them right now, but let's go down to let's do one set and get method. Let's do set name. So it gives me the name, and that is the person's name. Name setter method and let's do get name. Here's another javadoc comment. Get the person's name. And the return is the name. Okay. Let's just do one more. Let's do get age. And I'm not going to do a javadoc style comment. I'm going to do a regular comment so you can see the difference. I didn't get the block tag that says at return. And let me type something like get the person's age. Okay, save. And then to generate Java docs, this is what you need to do. You go in Eclipse to project, generate Java doc. Make sure that your Java doc command is pointing to wherever you installed your Java JDK. And then inside the JDK slash bin, there should be a Java doc file in there. And then just simply click finish, or actually, Let's navigate down and make sure that we have a package selected and we just want it and select all the classes that you want Java Docs for. So if we did it for a lot of classes, you'll select all of them, but let's just do it for person. Click finish, click yes, and then we wait a couple seconds until it's done and it's building the API for us and it's done. It created this doc folder. Inside the doc folder, there's a whole bunch of HTML files. Click the one that says index.html and here is our API for the person class, which looks just like the Oracle uh, application programming interface, that API, where we list all our constructors, 
Notice only the ones where I wrote a comment for has a description. I didn't write a comment for these two constructors. And let's go down to the method summary. And remember how we wrote a, a, a non-Java doc style comment for get age? So I didn't actually strip that comment out of the code and stick it right here. So, so I don't have a description for get age, but I do have one for get name and set name. And this is official Java documentation for your program. And it, it's very simple to do it and create it. All you got to do is just remember to add the Java doc style comments above every class and every method.